Now we are with the last 15 minutes of our conference, and um, I'm just wondering if we can get Visna on the screen, because I would really like to see Ministry of Health of Slovenia, because they are the ones who are that supportive that we can run such uh, or coordinate such a joint action in Slovenia without the support of Ministry of Health, we would not be here. So, um, Visna, if you agree, I would just try to summarize what we did in the both two days, and then I would kindly ask you to re your reflection, and then we close down the conference, if you agree. But, because we said we are engaging, we are uh, putting the link to Slido to the chat. Please use it, use the hashtag and the numbers to enter the Slido, and there is the blank paper. And just write down what is your keyword for the two days conference, and we would use it to come up with the final, um, final, how to say, maybe message of the conference together with your help. So please do it, join it, and try to shape it with us. We are still almost 100, it's five o'clock almost, and we are still there, that's great. But what we have learned in those two days, I would say that, first of all, what was my learning is again and again, it's a complex, Childhood obesity is really complex, and that's why we cannot solve with, with the linear and simply, simple solutions. So we need something that is responding to these complex issues, and we have to move out of the box and embrace the emergent practices, not just good and best or promising, but those where we can also um, try, make trials, we can even make errors, but we have to go, to go forward here. And we have to go into the relational mode of action. We have to build partnerships and multidisciplinary approaches. And we have to be innovative. And I'm very happy that we created together this conference. It's not possible that one person or one country would do what we are doing together. It's really the effort of all of the member states for more than 10 years. That's just the result of our very good joint activities in the past decade or more. Um, it's systems thinking, what we are missing, so we will think of how to improve that in the future. It seems that in the first day a lot of, or it was obvious, that a lot of knowledge was created within STOP, and it's very useful for the implementation in the joint action. We have here, um, we have been exploring stakeholders' collaboration. Uh, here we still can learn a lot, what is the landscape of the stakeholders where, in fact, we can implement what we try, it's what we think is really important. And uh, we have discussed the contribution of the research in the data provision and policy making yesterday, and it was also a very, very uh, inspiring uh, plenary at the end of the day one. Um, today we started with an excellent Digisante strategic introduction. And the same goes for the WHO intervention on policy translated from the stop. Uh, policy knowledge translated from the stop. And we had uh, three very informative and I would say also enthusiastic sessions on best remap. And it was noticeable that on public procurements, we should know even more. And it's possible that we will organize additional sessions where we would invite you to join if you want to learn more on all of the three topics. Um, but what uh, we have discussed uh, at the end of the day, um, it's a uh, year of the youth. So that's something what we should use for our future actions and in the year to come. Uh, we have heard invitations from three GGs. It was very, very valuable. I'm not repeating it because we have been all listening the last one and a half hours, but a lot of potential there, a lot of things to be explored so that we can move forward with our joint actions. Also, very, very good discussion on how to work with the private sector, which we could link very closely with uh, the definition which was uh, put on uh, the table in the morning by Francesco Branca. And just a few words at the end, monitoring, clear objectives, inequalities, mutual understanding, communication, collaboration, engaging, seeking synergies, working together, trust, and long-term impact, which ended up with the need that we need an action plan on childhood obesity, and I could easily sign under that statement. Um, it's great that you see Best Remap as an excellent tool to influence EU policies because we would really like to do that and we would not like to do it alone. We really would like to do it together with the policy decision-making forum so that we understand where are the policies, where is the policy development at the DGs. So we really hope that we will be able to get them all around the table uh, to help us be best possible. 
And by that, I think that, uh, uh, yeah, maybe just that, that, in fact, whatever at the end comes at the table at the EU level is produced from us, from the, from the member states at the national level. So it has, we are the ones who have to be active and proactive. And I'm really happy here that Ministry of Health of Slovenia uh, has uh, put our joint action in this area to the council conclusions. So really congratulations that they succeed to do that and that they have aligned the member states, states around that. And we hope that the other presidencies will be taking on the button, which started 2007 during our first presidency and uh, hope to be as, as productive in the future years too. So Visna, to you. Thank you, Moitza. First of all, I think I have to thank you and Caroline and the rest of you who have prepared this event, uh, which actually is uh, so much needed, in particular in these difficult times for all of us, because um, uh, while focusing on one item, we sometimes forget that there is much to do in other areas. And it's so important to keep all these important things like nutrition, food and nutrition on the agenda while we are actually struggling with the virus at the moment. Uh, and you mentioned it, and I'll repeat it, that it's so important to have the topic of nutrition and food high on the political agenda. And yes, as Moisa already said, we will try to put it um, uh, to the Council of uh, Europe um, uh, as a proposal of a conclusion. Uh, and uh, basically we are aiming to uh, more working together uh, between all the parts of the commission also, uh, health sector and the other sectors working together um, uh, within the approach of health in all policies and one health also. So this is very important and facilitating also cooperation between member states. And I was speaking before of innovation when innovating certain uh, practices and sharing them later on and monitoring is also something we can much better do together uh, than each country uh, can do for itself and um, uh, such uh, uh, projects as uh, joint action on implementation and validation of best practices and nutrition as best remap uh, should be kept on our agenda, common agenda of EU in the future as well. Uh, and uh, by this, I would say, uh, I'm very optimistic that we will move ahead and work together in the future even better of the, as we do now. And uh, we were talking a lot about the outcomes. There are outcomes that we will monitor and um, uh, by doing so, I hope we will be uh, surprised in a good uh, way, not in a bad way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Visna, for being positive. I think that's very, very important. And thanks for these take-home messages which you just shared with us. At the end of the conference, I would like to say that thanks to all of the speakers, thanks to all of the guests, uh, thanks to the representatives of the Commission and the national member states and all of the other stakeholders who has joined us today. Uh, I think that, and, and yesterday, I think that we have created a really good event and we have shared a lot of knowledge. I hope it will be maximally useful. Uh, I have to apologize my co-moderator, Professor Franco Sassi. He had to go to another WHO meeting, but he's uh, greeting you or us all, and he is also very, very satisfied with the outcomes of the conference. Uh, so by saying that, I'm still a bit uh, sorry because we couldn't meet here in person in Ljubljana, but definitely we will do all what we can that we will use the first next opportunity to meet in person somewhere around, uh, because I would really like to hug you all whom I know and to, know, to get to know new people and really um, make us uh, do our best in the area of nutrition, physical activity and obesity for our children, but not children, also for young families and for everyone at the, in the EU. So thank you very much for participating and enjoy the rest of the evening and we'll be in touch definitely.